Wasn't that long ago I cried out for mercy from him I pled the blood of Jesus And begged him to forgive my sin I could not forget it It would not go away So I ask again Lord wash my sin And this is all he'd say What sin, what sin, there is far as the east is from the west. What sin, what sin, they were gone. carry is the load of guilt and shame you were never meant to bear them just let it go in Jesus name God is slow to anger and quick to forgive our sin so just let him put under the blood don't bring it up again What sin, what sin, there is far as the east is from the west. What sin, what sin, they were gone. My soul has found a sweet release from my accusing memory And never have I felt so free as when I heard him say to me What sin, what sin there is far as the from the west What sin What sin They were gone The minute you confessed Buried in a sea Of forgiveness from him I pled the blood of Jesus and begged him to forgive
Okay. I think we're good now. So we're trying to get everything going just right. We was trying to practice a couple Christmas songs. We don't really don't do a whole lot of practicing, as you all probably can easily tell a lot of times. But anyway, we were trying to get a couple Christmas songs together tonight. We're glad that you're with us. And uh, we'll get it on. Okay. So she got me on through the microphone now. We were on the camera. Um, so we want you to get your prayer requests in. Uh, we've got, uh, like I said, a few special Christmas songs we're going to try to do tonight uh, in, in honor of the birth of Jesus, our Savior, and uh, such an important time for us as Christians. Hope everybody is, is uh, safe and well and enjoying their holiday already as much as they can. I'm, I'm working uh, and through tomorrow, so, but I will get off Christmas Day, so I'm thankful for that. Uh, but we want you to get right in with us. Get your requests in. I know there's a lot of requests right, right now. There's so, it's just such a troublesome time. There's so many people that's sick. And I looked around on Facebook today, and I saw that some folks had passed that we'd been praying for, and different things has went on. We've lost our pastor and our pastor's wife, and and uh, it's just it's a really hard time. It's a difficult time right now, and so. Uh, um, you know, get your prayer requests in. God still makes a difference. I know we don't understand why things go the way they do sometimes, uh, but, um, you know, the Lord knows best, and so we can't question Him. So just be getting your requests in. I'm. Oh, yeah, that's right. The call-in uh, is still not showing up as an option for us anymore. We were using that, and so I guess we're getting too much benefit out of it or something. I don't know, but... Anyway, our call-in is not working, so we don't have a code to give out. It's not even showing up as an option for us, and uh, so we apologize for that. Uh, I don't know if they've just taken it away, decided that was something they weren't going to do anymore, but it was a good benefit for us. So uh, anyway, um, we're glad you're with us, and uh, you all be praying for us, and we're going to uh, sing a few songs, be getting your prayer requests in. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining upon the shadows near, guiding the light to those who long have gone. Guiding the
this force real quick. I've got several prayer requests. We'll get the prayer requests here. And then, uh, Okay, first thing we've got a praise request, a praise report. <laughs> praise request. We, we all request a good praise, don't we? We need to hear some good news, and I'm, I'm so thankful that uh, uh, Teresa Parsons has sent us in a praise report. She went to the doctor Monday, and she is cancer free. Praise the Lord for that. I'm so glad. I tell you, I feel like we need some good news. Oh, there's something on the back. They will keep watch for a while, but I want to praise God and thank all of you. That's from Teresa. She says that uh, she was, I didn't flip it over. I was just so thrilled. Went to the doctor Monday, and she's cancer-free. They will keep a watch for a while, but I want to praise God and thank all of you. So everybody that's been on here uh, praying for Sister Teresa, we're so thankful that she sent us in a good report. I'm glad of what God can do. And I know that we look around and we see so much that's went the other way, but I can tell you that God is still keeping an eye on His people. He's got a plan. He knows what He's doing. and uh, So we're, we thank the Lord that she sent that praise report in, that she's cancer-free. I'm so glad, so very glad. Uh, Charlotte Morgan has uh, sent in a request for Tyler and Shannon, a prayer for them. Cheryl Bowman says pray for her and her family. And she has an unspoken request. Uh, we want everybody to remember uh, Phyllis Elam's daughter, Carla. Uh, the, all the home folks here in Brio know who that is. That's Don and Phyllis Elam's daughter, Carla. And she had a massive heart attack. It's very, very serious. And it's just been so hard because of the COVID situation. She doesn't have COVID. Uh, to my knowledge, she didn't have COVID. That wasn't what it was about. It was all about her heart. They'd been at home. They'd been very careful. Uh, but still yet, she had something working on her heart, and and uh, uh, she had a massive heart attack, and uh, uh, she really needs the Lord's help. Um, also, we want to remember the Eads family. They've suffered great, great loss. Um uh, as many of you already know, uh, Pastor Harold Eads uh, uh, passed away uh, this week. It's it's um, it's just so sad. Um, Sister Sue, uh, it, it's just uh, it's just hit us so hard. And uh, we've got other uh, elderly people in our church that we're certainly hoping uh, that doesn't get this that. Uh, it doesn't affect them. Uh, it's just such a scary time when you see uh, people that you love so dearly taken away. Uh, it, it just, uh, it's its a really hard time. So please pray for the Eads family. They've suffered. Uh, hes They've just suffered so greatly through this, losing three family members. Uh, and she has uh, posted the uh, old obituary there in the comments if you want to read that. Uh, Anna Marie Wilson Ty asked for prayer for herself, and she has an unspoken request. And uh, June Linville says, "Pray for me and my grandkids and Misty." So please remember uh, all of those requests, and also remember that praise report. Uh, you know that's important to know that that God's moving. We know that uh, uh, that uh, Sister Myra's had had good results. Things are going good with her, and we've been praying for her. Um, I don't want people to get in the mindset that you know we're just uh, uh, we're not we're not doing any good with our prayers because I can tell you they make a difference and uh, they really make a difference. I know that uh, uh, Carla, uh, Phyllis's daughter Carla, uh, was uh, was so sick, and I know people was praying for her, and and I think it it got a little better than what they thought it was going to be originally. It sounded like to me originally it was very grim. And uh, it did get a little better, and so we're really, really thankful for that. We're, we're we're thankful for every little thing that the Lord does. So, 
that was all the prayer requests we probably don't have a lot on tonight i know that it's a it's a holiday week and i might say this um if you look at the obituary you're going to see that uh the the wake service is going to be uh sunday night so we are not or sunday day into the night so we're not going to be having a live stream uh sunday night we also will be having church at our church on wednesday and thursday so um we're just going to have to see what we can do um i am off monday that's when the funeral is and i'm off monday and tuesday Maybe we can get a, a service in for those because I know a lot of people are at home uh, and can't get out right now and, and, and are afraid to get our, out, and rightly so, uh, because this this thing, it is really taking a toll on some people. Uh, another praise report before I forget it, before we pray, I want to say this. I uh, appreciate Teresa sending hers in, but uh, Nikki and Betty Spicer uh, that had, uh, they, they did test positive with COVID, he uh i texted nikki today and he said that uh, they were doing better and uh, so that was really good news that they were doing better uh, they were still really weak and uh I, my understanding is that takes a while to come back so uh you know he, he they're just tired and, and and really really wore down but as far as the sickness part of it i don't know you know what if they were half struggling breathing or whatever but he said they were doing better that was all i got and that's all i needed to know uh, is that they were doing better and so we're so thankful that that Nikki uh, and Betty's doing better uh, we always want everybody to to pray for brother Mike Elliott he sent in a prayer request you know he's had that that crushed uh, crushed foot and stuff and it's just so uh, uh, so sad I've got a request here uh, it says Roger and Pauline Howard pray for my sister uh, she has COVID and she is 75 years old, so we know that's a serious request. Uh, uh, it seems like that, um, you know, uh, the older patients with this COVID is has really, uh, you know, it's been a lot more lethal uh, for those in that age range. So uh, the virus is is just a virus, and God is greater than any virus. So we want everybody. Have we got a song to sister? You got a song to sing while we pray? Okay, I'm gonna let them sing and I want you to join with me in prayer and pray for all these prayer requests. We got this one as a request and I've never sang it, but I'll try it here. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this moment for your Lord asking your blessing on these requests. Move and touch the arms of
much. So, um, turn the monitor off. I don't need any monitor when I when I'm uh, preaching. So, if you want to be turning in your Bibles tonight, we're going to start in Luke chapter two, starting at the first verse. And this is going to be the uh, I'm going to be reading about the Christmas story. Uh, but uh, don't don't go away. Say, well, I've heard the Christmas story because I I feel like the Lord uh, really was dealing with my heart on something in this, and uh, I am going to read uh, here out of Luke chapter two and go to Matthew where it talks about the Christmas story as well. Uh, but uh, we're going to start in Luke. This kind of is the the start of it. And then I uh, really want to focus on the wise men, but I do want to read the whole thing. You know, you'd be surprised at the people that don't know <laughs> uh, where the birth of Christ is in the Bible. And it's something that they read over and they don't really consider. And this was the greatest miracle, the greatest gift that we, we have ever had upon this earth. And that was Jesus Christ. His birth, that was when the gift was given. And we know that, that his journey was completed. Um, we celebrate that at Easter, uh, the, his resurrection, and that's when his work was finished and uh, when he had, uh, you know, reconciled us back to God. But this is when the gift is given. And I, I want to start here at verse 1 in chapter 2 of Luke. Did you find that, baby girl? Okay. Uh, and it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made by Cyrenius, uh, was governor uh, of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Ju Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, which we know that had to be so for Christ to be born, uh, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they, they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, uh, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people." Hallelujah to God. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be unto all, shall be to all people. Ain't that wonderful? Eleventh verse said, For unto you is a born, is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you: ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Hey, hallelujah. Glory be to God. I tell you what, He didn't send us a Savior for us to be afraid. He didn't send us a Savior uh, for us to be worried. He didn't send us a Savior, uh, glory to God, to be in a bad shape and be downhearted. Uh, regardless of what's going on around you tonight, I want you to know uh, uh, that from the de day that Christ was born, uh, uh, glory to God, there was a child born unto us. Uh, uh, glory to God. And here's what they said. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God. God and saying glory uh, to God in the highest and on earth peace goodwill toward men hallelujah to God goodwill toward men uh, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son uh, that man was Jesus glory to God uh, hallelujah praise his good wonderful name I want you to know uh, today that he came uh, uh, glory to God with goodwill towards me and you he wants to help us he wants to uh, be an encouragement to us to lift us up uh, and help us through our daily load 
Hallelujah to God. The 15th verse said, And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from uh, them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us know, let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm so glad that He can reveal things to us. Ain't you? You know what? In, in the wholeness way, we've always talked about praying and learning things. But, but you know what? There's been times, glory to God, when it's just been revealed. It's a little bit different. Glory to God, it's just your eyes open up and you can see so clear how that it is. Amen. Today, He said, The Lord hath made known to us that came and opened their eyes and and told them uh, uh, where the child was. Glory to God today. Listen. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now that's what the angel told them, wouldn't it? And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. Oh, glory be to God. I tell you what, there had to be some kind of grace in those words uh, because these were just uh, uh, shepherds. They were just lowly shepherds uh, uh, that tended to the, uh, the the flocks in the fields. Amen. They weren't uh, uh, some kind of businessman. They weren't kings or princes or governors uh, or nothing like that. Glory to God. These were just shepherds. Uh, oh, but those words were said. It said, all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds but Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart Amen. The Lord had already spoke to her. She'd already, uh, she'd already been overshadowed by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Uh, but she kept them all. Amen. And the shepherds returning, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Hey man, today, ain't you glad today that uh, when Jesus came that the angels appeared? To, I want you to know that Jesus didn't come to put anybody out or put anybody down. He came to lift up. Uh, uh, glory to God. He came to reconcile uh, people back to God. He didn't have nobody uh, to cast off. It was good news, good tidings uh, to all people. Uh, hey man, not just a select few, not just my family, not your family. Uh, uh, not just the Jews glory to God today uh, but it was good news uh, to all people glory to God uh, uh, for they uh, uh, the angels knew that when it was finished uh, uh, that salvation would come to the Gentiles uh, amen Jesus told the woman at the well uh, uh, glory to God them that worship him uh, uh, must worship him in spirit uh, and in truth uh, and the time uh, will come and now we is, uh, uh, that them that worship God will worship Him uh, in spirit and in truth. Glory to God. I want you to know uh, that time still is here. Uh, if we want to worship God, we need to get in His spirit. Uh, amen. We need to seek Him. Uh, uh, get in His spirit. Glory to God. Uh, and begin to praise Him. Uh, amen. And talk to Him. Uh, and let Him lead us and guide us uh, and reveal things to us. Hey man, we've got a wonderful opportunity. Uh, before I start reading here, I'm going to change over to Matthew ch uh, uh, chapter 2 and verse 1. Matthew chapter 2 and verse 1 is where I'm headed. But I want you to understand that before the birth of Christ, if you study your word, there was a, there was a space, uh, and, and I've, it slipped my mind. Uh, uh, these things get away from me. Sometimes I hard to know it, but <coughs> the last prophecy that was written in the Old Testament there's a space of uh, uh, so many hundred years there between uh, the last prophecy and th from from then to Jesus coming. Amen. There was a gap there. It was a dark time. I want you to know, I, I know that we're in a dark time. 
Uh, but because it's a dark time in the world, uh, does it mean it has to be a dark time for God's people? Uh, for Jesus is the light. <laughs> He's the light that came into the world. <laughs> Amen. He's the light that I'm looking at. No matter how dark uh, uh, this world gets, and moreover, uh, uh, even though this world does get dark, uh, uh, that light shines brighter. Do you know a light shines brighter in darkness? Uh, oh, heaven looks greater now. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. It looks better now. Uh, than it did uh, uh, 10 years ago. Amen. It's just sounding sweeter all the time. Uh, uh, glory to God. And I want you to know uh, uh, today that even though we're in a dark time, uh, uh, we can have wisdom and we can be like these uh, magis that it talks about here we call the wise men. Amen. Today in the Word, uh, uh, tells, calls them here wise men. Uh, glory to that God that came. Uh, they come traveling uh, to follow in this star which was a sign unto them and that's another happening that we've had uh, they say that these two planets that's lined up uh, is similar to that star that shone that they followed uh, but actually in, in that day there was a uh, the way I understand it, and you may correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I think there was actually three planets that lined up that made it even uh, bigger, uh, bigger, brighter uh, star when Christ was born. Uh, but I want you to know that was no mistake. <laughs> that was set in motion by the hand of God. <laughs> Amen. Uh, uh, thousands of years before. Amen. Christ was born. That was all set in motion uh, so that that would be lined up in that way. Uh, glory to God for His birth. A sign. Uh, uh, glory to God. If you read in the Bible, it talks about signs in the heavens. Uh, amen. Uh, God has put these things in motion. Uh, glory to God. And that's the reason it is the way that it is. Uh, uh, now the Bible said it's uh, here in uh, chapter 2 of Matthew. Uh, first verse. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men uh, from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he uh, that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east uh, and are come to worship him. Uh, glory to God. Uh, they came uh, uh, here to Judea. Uh, uh, glory to God in the days of Herod. Uh, and they came looking for that king. Uh, and listen, when Herod, the third verse said, when Herod, uh, the king had heard those things, he was troubled. And all of Jerusalem with him. Oh, they begin to worry and trouble. Uh, because here were these wise men uh, searching for a king. Uh, and when he had gathered forth first, and when he had, had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, For thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, art not of the least among the princes of Judea. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Amen. Today, glory to God, a prophecy. A glory to God that you can read. Amen. You can go back and read about it in Micah. A glory to God there where the prophecy was given. It said, Then Herod, seventh verse, Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise man, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared and he sent them to Bethlehem and said go and search diligently for the young child now, I want you to understand something here this is happening afterwards uh, amen they, he, he asked when the star appeared so off, obviously that star was gone uh, and he sent them to Bethlehem and told them to go search diligently not for a baby but for the young child amen so I want to uh, a lot of people have watched the little stories and they show the baby and the wise men together uh, but the Bible says here the young child uh, uh, some time had passed they had traveled following that star amen and uh, it said that they uh, they searched diligently for the young child and when ye have found him bring he, me word again that I may come and worship him also what about that king ninth verse said when they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star. Listen to that. 
which they saw in the east went before them till it came. Amen. It stood over where the young child was. When they saw the, the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they were come into the house, I want you to understand they wasn't in no stable. <laughs> Amen. When they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh, and being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Now what I wanted to get to, this was a time, and you can read on, and there's really not time for me to go through it all, but you could read on. Hey man, and Herod, uh, here he, he wasn't wanting to come and worship this child. He was wanting to kill this child that was prophesied to be a governor of Israel. He was wanting to uh, pr uh, kill this child uh, that was supposed to be the king of kings and the Lord of lords. Uh, and so the angel of the Lord uh, came and appeared to uh, to them and told them and warned them uh, glory to God and they went out to another way glory to God out into their own country and escaped from Herod because they know uh, they didn't want to tell where that child was they didn't want to tell Herod uh, and the 13th verse said and when they were departed behold the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream saying arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt and be thou there until I will bring thee word for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him uh, glory to God today when he arose he took the young child and his mother by night and departed parted into Egypt. Uh, amen. They went and left with the child. Amen. Uh, glory to God into Egypt uh, uh, to get away from Herod the king. But I want you to know these wise men, uh, they begin to see, and I know if you've been following the story of the star, uh, the planets that's lined up and made the look of the star. Uh, amen. And uh, uh, in, in our news and things that's been shining for days and days. Uh, and it was the same back in that time. Uh, glory to God when they saw that star and they began to follow. Hey Amen. They knew, uh, glory to God, that that was the place uh, where the child would be born. Hey Amen. And, and they went there and they found that young child. Hey Amen. Today, and they begin to uh, give him gifts. Glory to God and worship him. Hallelujah to God and being warned of God. I want you to know uh, uh, that a lot of people, they look at stories uh, in different ways. And this is where my mind's at today uh, in this story. You know, you can can look uh, at things a different way and a lot of times people interject themselves uh, into a story in a different way they may feel like uh, uh, they're one uh, uh, person in it or another as they're reading or thinking about that and may put themselves uh, uh, like we do most of the time uh, as as just a, uh, an outside looker on of, of what's going on here in this story uh, but I want you to put your mind uh, as being one of these wise men uh, uh, glory to God making a long journey. Uh, uh, glory to God into a, a, a foreign land. Amen. I want you to put your mind uh, uh, to be one of these wise men today. Uh, uh, glory to God led uh, uh, by the Spirit of the Lord. Led and uh, guided by Him and His signs that He's given. Amen. I want you to put yourself in their shoes. Uh, I tell you we're in a dark time. Uh, uh, this was a dark time in history. And Jesus came in and, and gave us life. God, amen. Uh, uh, glory to God and started a revival uh, uh, that's still going today. Amen. Today people still getting saved. Uh, uh, glory to God. I want us to be wise men and women uh, for the Lord. I don't want us to be uh, downhearted because uh, uh, maybe this in this reading the king was against them. Uh, uh, the king would have surely uh, uh, liked to kill them and took their message away. Amen. And wanted to kill Christ. Uh, and take him away. Oh, but they were led by God. And they followed his way. I tell you what today. We're in a dark time. And I want you to know. Glory to God. There's so many people. That think that the government's their friend. That other things are their friend. But I want you to know. Glory to God. The family of God is your friend. God is your friend. Jesus is your friend. Amen. And that's who you've got to depend on. Amen. You can depend on the people of God. 
amen, true people of God. You can depend on them, but you can only depend on them because of who God is. Amen. Because they got saved, because God put something good in their hearts. Amen. Because Jesus came uh, that they could be redeemed and be brought back to Him. Amen. Today I want you to know uh, that you need to be my wise men and women right now. Uh, we need to be careful. Uh, hallelujah to God. I'm telling you, it's a dangerous time. Amen. This is a dangerous time that we're living in. Uh, but as, as God uh, at the birth of Christ uh, led these wise men over out of their country all the way to Jerusalem and then received counsel to go down to Bethlehem. I tell you what, God guided them step by step and He's still guiding people step by step. Hey Amen. We need uh, to get our hearts and minds uh, upon Him. I tell you what, uh, you better not t trust uh, uh, that the government's going to give you a bailout. Uh, uh, you better not trust uh, uh, that the government uh, is going to uh, pay pay for your food and all these things. Uh, I want you to know today, friends, uh, uh, that God is your provider. Uh, don't trust in man, uh, but trust in God. Uh, if you've trusted in man, uh, you you put your trust in the wrong place. Uh, uh, come on now, folks. Uh, uh, we've only got Him to depend on. Uh, I beg it to you today, be wise men and women. Uh, uh, get your mind off the things of this world. Uh, uh, glory to God. Get your mind off the things. Uh, uh, you know what? No doubt. Uh, uh, can you imagine those wise men? Uh, uh, glory to God that had an understanding uh, of, of a word of prophecy. And they begin to see an, uh, a star. And they said, no doubt in their hearts, uh, uh, being inspired by God, this must be uh, uh, the sign of Christ. Uh, amen. And they began to travel. Uh, can you only imagine uh, how they were mocked? Uh, I know this isn't written, but I just uh, use some common sense here. Uh, uh, glory to God if me and you uh, uh, was just like a Noah. And it had never rained, and we began to build a boat and begin to tell people that water was going to fall out of the sky when they'd never seen it before. They thought he was a foolish man. I tell you what, today, people that really believe in God and believe in the Spirit of a living God that moves and quickens this mortal body, they think we're crazy. Amen. They think we're strange. Hallelujah to God, these wise men. They thought they, no doubt they thought, they thought thought, well, they're wasting their time. Here they go off on a on a trip. And no doubt they probably thought, well, they'll be overtaken. They've got precious gifts with them of gold and frankincense and myrrh. No doubt they'll be overtaken and die in the desert. Glory to God today. But I can tell you those things didn't happen because they were supposed to go down to Jerusalem and receive counsel to go to Bethlehem and go down there and find Jesus, uh, uh, glory to God today, uh, and worship Him, uh, hallelujah to God, uh, uh, the one that brought the good news into the world, uh, uh, Jesus was the gospel, uh, He is the good news, uh, uh, glory to God today, ain't it wonderful to know uh, uh, that we have an opportunity to be saved uh, uh, through and by Jesus Christ, uh, uh, the only begotten Son of God, uh, uh, the Savior of the world, uh, uh, the one that came oh, and, and did good to all people and suffered the worst death that we could possibly think of but went into a grave and come out holding the keys to death, hell, and the grave. He was triumphant over death. He was triumphant over the grave. He was triumphant over sin. Glory to God and He's wanting to deliver me and you. Praise the Lord. Let's be, let's be my wise men and women. Let's look to Jesus. Amen, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen, let's be wise in this dark time. Amen, it is dark. There ain't no need in trying to get around it. It's a scary time. Uh, this virus is scary. What they're doing in the government is scary. Come on now, folks. Uh, everything that's uh, going on, they're, uh, they're uh, making things, uh, uh, they've made things legal that's against the will of God. Hey, Amen. And, and now they're going on and they're, they're, they try to push that 
If you don't agree with them, then you're just a, 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 committing a hate crime uh, because you don't go along with it. Hey, Amen. What happened uh, to freedom of religion? That's the reason uh, that the people uh, came to this land and they, they began to develop this land. <coughs> Because they wanted a freedom to worship. Uh, but I want you to know today, friends, you better make sure uh, that you're making uh, every opportunity pay off right now. Uh, because I'm going to tell you uh, that it may be, uh, there may be a time ahead, and I believe no doubt it's going to move that way. And the only thing that'll keep it from coming is the mercies of the Lord. Uh, that they'll take away your right to worship, uh, uh, to say that sin is sin, and sin brings forth death. And that's a spiritual death a uh, uh, glory to God uh, and we know that de de that all death is going to be cast into hell a uh, glory to God today where are me and you at in this today I tell you what I want to be a wise man I, I want to walk I want to follow the signs of God I want to follow after him I, I want to go the way uh, uh, that he'd have me to go I want to go the way that he would lead I, I want to receive the counsel I want to hear the voice of an angel and not hear the voice of another. Hey Amen. I want to hear the voice of God speak. I want to hear His Word speak to my heart. And I want to follow that Word. Come on now, folks. Glory to God. Let's be wise, men and women. Let's be wise. Hey Amen. They were in a dark time, no doubt. No doubt people thought it was kindly foolish. And there they come. And Herod was trying to trick him. Come back and tell me where he's at. No doubt they would have lost their lives. If it weren't so, the Lord wouldn't have warned them in a dream that they should not return to Herod, but to go to depart into their own country another way. And also he warned Joseph, and he went over into Egypt. I tell you, God's good. He knows how, he's work, how to work things. Hey Amen. And you know what? It's mysterious how he does things. It's mysterious how that he works things out. But I'm telling you, God is a God that's able to do. He's able to accomplish the things uh, uh, in a way that people, uh, they don't see them. Hey Amen. People, it says that they'll be given and taken in marriage when he comes back. Hey Amen. Things are going to be continuing on. Hey, if you're looking for something different, you're looking for the wrong thing. Hey Amen. It's going to come up upon people unaware. Hey Amen. God knows how to work these things. Uh, uh, people try to look in the Bible and, and figure everything out with their natural mind. Uh, but I can tell you without a spiritual mind, uh, you're not going to know. These magi, these uh, wise men, uh, they wouldn't have known what to do without the Lord led them. Hey Amen. Let's, let's be wise. So what made them wise? Hey Amen. Because they listened to the right voice. Hey Amen. It wasn't their own smarts. They listened to the word that they had and they searched in it and they listened for that true voice. If somebody get us a song ready, I'm going to let us uh, have have prayer. Uh, I've got one more song that we might, a Christmas song that we might sing at the end. Uh, an old song, looks like we got some, uh, got a lot more requests. I believe we got more now than we did earlier. Let me try to go through these while they're getting our song ready. Church, let's be wise men and women. <clears throat> let's listen to the voice of the Lord. Let's hear Him. Let's go where He leads. Sorry about that. Melissa Gabbard says, uh, pray, pray. Pray for her every time I get out, I get sick, I have uh, bad lungs. Also remember her family. So please remember Melissa Gabbard says every time she gets out, she gets sick because of her, her lungs. Anna Marie Wilson Ty, uh, remember her son Dennis Payne and daughter Crystal Payne. God knows all about it. She's been giving in that request. Please, people, pray for that request. God knows. Uh, Brian Richardson, his friends. Mom has COVID and is in serious condition. The way I'm taking that, very serious condition. So Brian Richardson, it's it's his friend's mom. Uh, Zach says uh, to pray for Tevis Newell, Michael, 
and the church. Amen. <clears throat> Carolyn Martin, remember me and my husband in prayer. So please remember that. Ronald Gibson, uh, he needs prayer. So please remember Ronald. Stephanie Morgan, her dad, Walter Morgan, he is so sick. So I've been seeing those requests. I hadn't seen anything on Facebook in a while. but So please remember Stephanie Morgan's uh, uh, dad, Walter Morgan. He's very, very sick, and they need God to move. Charlotte M Morgan says, All the lost and all my neighbors, pray for all that are addicted and bound. In Jesus' name, loose them and let them go free. Amen. That's a that's a good prayer. Amen. They, there's, there is a lot of addiction. We've mentioned that uh, several times, but we've not lately, and I'm glad she, she sent in that request. Uh, you know, addiction is a thing right now that people... Uh, this is the time of year and with things being the way that they are and things being so different uh, that people go back to those addictions and and uh, let me tell you something that's a uh, as she wrote they're bound it's 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 a ter terrible terrible thing uh, so Carol Safari uh, remember her back and legs that are so shaky and uh, she's depending on the church to continue to pray for her so please pray for Sister Carol, that the Lord will give her strength for her back and legs. Um, a praise report from Melissa Gabbard. Uh, Jimmy's heart, heart calf came back in no blockage. Well, praise the Lord for that. Amen. We're, we're so glad of that. I'll do this at the end. These two. All right, so we're going to. He sent me a couple of notes there to keep me straight. I need a lot of help. So we're going to anoint these. Remember, church, sometimes uh, when it's so dark and things look so, so bad. <clears throat> that's when God's just getting ready to move. Amen. That's the way it was in the days when Jesus was born. It was a dark time. There hadn't been no prophecy for several hundred years. Uh, it was a dark-looking time. Uh, the Rome had took over the world pretty much, and uh, they were uh, they they had multiple gods. They they were really uh, uh, paganistic and different things, and and they had all these. Uh, gods and goddesses and all these things and it was such a wicked wicked time it looked like they controlled everything but you know what god reversed that curse what what the devil meant for evil god used for good because if it had not been for all the roads that the roman people built if it hadn't been for the construction that they did it wouldn't have been so easy for for paul to go around to all those different places think about that I'm telling you, God is good. He, he's got his ways of doing things. When you think it looks like everything's going down, God's got a plan. He's got a plan. I'm glad that God's got a plan, ain't you? Uh, so let's remember these requests and uh, let's be wise and listen to the voice of the Lord. I tell you what, we're going to come out on top. I've read the back of the book. Guess what? We win. <laughs> Amen. We win. Amen. We win. And I want you to know that it's not anything that we do. The victory was won 2,000 years ago. Amen. He won it. All we got to do is wait it out until we get to go uh, uh, join in that victory song. We're going to let them sing this song. Everybody join in me with me in prayer for these requests.
be an A chord there. Go up, tell it on the mountain over
people around me's been sick, and uh, and so I'm I'm trying to be careful. I've worn my mask. I've done everything that the CDC is saying to do. You know, try and prevent it. But I know that prayer changes things, and so really, what I'm just asking for is for prayer. You know that uh, the people would pray and try and ask the Lord that He would keep this off of me. People around me's been sick. I'm not running the temperature or anything. And uh, one of the people I was talking to today said, "Well, I'm pleading the Lord over it. He said the blood over it, or however he said it, you know." And he said that I'm I'm asking the Lord because we need help. And I was like, "Amen." He got a big amen for me. And uh, so, just everybody be praying for me. Um, that I, I wouldn't get this, and uh, I, I definitely don't. My biggest fear is not me getting it; it's who I would give it to and not know it. And uh, those other people could have a lot more uh, underlying health issues and sicknesses and things. Um, but me myself, I'd probably just recover. So, but anyway, just just pray for me. Thankful to the Lord everything that He's ever done for me, for saving me, for coming and dying on that cross. Everything. Well, our uh, our intent was to have uh, been able to done some uh, Christmas songs, put together a uh, uh, some Christmas songs, and and released them on uh, YouTube and things. And we laid out some chords, and we sung a couple of the songs tonight, but um, uh, we we weren't able to get. I I was working a lot, and it seems like we were all busy. It was just really hard. Zach's been he works six days a week uh, uh, there one week, and so we've just had um, we've had a lot going on. I wish we were able to do that, uh, but anyway, we did. I did get some tracks laid down, and maybe we'll be able to do that and be able to put it out some other time, maybe next year or whatever. Uh, but all this stuff takes time, and we're doing the very best we can do. And but I, I would love to have been able to do that. Uh, people enjoy, you know. I'm sure there's people in Nashville and different places that can sing music together far better than we can um, but it's it's nice sometimes to hear somebody sing it from the heart that you know <laughs> and uh, it just it just makes a difference you know when it's things about Jesus uh, we've got another prayer request that's came in from Evelyn Cottle uh, says uh, her family they need the Lord's help so please pray for Evelyn's family I don't know what's going on there but we'll definitely pray over these requests again as we dismiss tonight um, and just remember all the people that are lost Charlotte Morgan was, was right on there that's what Jesus came for uh, that was the gift that he brought was salvation the greatest gift that's ever been given We, uh, we want to remember all the lost, all those that are uh, have addiction problems, uh, our cancer patients that we've been praying for, uh, hearing some good results on that. So glad that Teresa sent that good news in, and um, we're glad of the good news that Myra sent in a while back. I, it's wonderful, wonderful good news coming in, and God's still moving, church. Don't don't get disheartened. Don't, don't fall into the devil's trap of, of losing your faith because of some things that you see going on that's that's uh not what the lord wants you to do so um let's pray for these and i got a couple more things i'll say uh, so pray with me dear heavenly father lord today we ask lord that you bless each and every one of these requests that you put your your hand upon them lord each and every individual lord that needs healing that needs strength that needs encouragement lord uh, that's discouraged through this dark and troublesome time lord we know today that the, the nurses and the doctors are overworked and uh, so many people are in danger that are out here in public that have to work and uh, be around this thing but god i know that your hand has been upon people and uh, there's been so many that's been in contact with this lord and you've just you've just put a hedge around them and lord i thank you god we don't understand the ones that we've lost uh, we can't understand, Lord, why that they have went. To, uh, but, Lord, we know that you know. We don't question your authority. We don't question your 
uh, process that you have. We know that you have a plan, God. And we just thank you, Lord, for those that you've protected and those that you've watched over, God, today. And we, we thank you, Lord, for those that have received a great reward, Lord that's went on to be home with you, Lord, today because we're supposed to rejoice at the going on of one of the saints, Lord, that leaves this old sinful world behind and goes into that paradise. Oh, glory to God, that wonderful place, Lord. We just want to walk with you. We want to do your will, Lord, and move in each and every one of these. Lord, please send your angels and visit your people. Touch these requests, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, we ask and pray. Amen and amen. Now uh, we had a we had a couple of our friends that sent us uh, a, a very special Christmas card and uh, a thank you for what we've been trying to do and um, I, I'm not going to say their names because it might embarrass them. They put their names down here, but I'm not going to say them. I'm, I'm going to think maybe that's not a good idea, but you know who you are. And I want to say that we really, we really, really uh, appreciate what you did. They put a little, a uh, little gift card in there, and and uh, you know, uh, if it had been a pressed flower, it'd have meant a lot to me. It's not about, for me, it's not monetary value. The card with the thank you in it was, was wonderful. But uh, you know, people like to put a gift behind their thank you and. And I understand that, and I, I, I just want to graciously say that we really, really appreciate it. It touched my heart that day, and uh, I really did appreciate that. Thank you, and that, uh, that token of your appreciation, and um, it, it means a lot. And you know what, church, we're, we're, we're who God's got to work through, and and let's let's be, let's be good soldiers. Let's do what He puts on our heart and mind to do, and. Uh, I'm so thankful of God's people that's prayed for me and helped me all along my journey. And that's that's uh, uh, helped me, brought me through all my, my troubles and trials in this life. I, we couldn't make it without one another because God works through other people to help us. And I know we're dependent on God, but, you know, we're, 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 we're the glove that God's hand slips into a lot of times and helps one another, so. We're so very thankful of those that have every encouraging word and every card that we've received. I, I want to say that we appreciate it greatly, and we we are uh, we're uh, we're so so thankful, and that was such an encouragement to us. And so we're not going to see you again. Like I said, we're having the wake service for Brother Harold uh, Sunday, so we will not be able to live stream Sunday. I don't know. Uh, Madison men mentioned Saturday. That's awful close to Christmas. I don't know what it, the weekend's going to look like, so I don't. We're not going to plan on doing anything like that yet. Um, if we do anything, it might just be a little bit of singing or something like that. If we get together and and uh, everybody gets to feeling like they want to get on a live stream and do something for people to make fun of <laughs> when we haven't practiced, <laughs> but we're doing the best we can do and and. Uh, uh, I appreciate all the great singing that the kids do, and uh, they do a great job. And we we miss a chord here and there, but that's all right. We're doing it for the Lord. So, with that, we are going to say something different than what I normally say. <laughs> with that, y'all want to come in here and do this with me or not? Okay. So Madison says. So Madison's not going to be with us, but get over here and get on. So from all of us at your home church, we want to say Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. everyone. Merry Christmas. God bless you and good night. On the hillside that overlooks 
life see when I'm tossed it sends out a light that I might clearly see and the light that shines in darkness now will lead me safely oh and if it wasn't for the lighthouse my ship would sail no more and I of sin He has shown